Hi everyone, welcome back to the Huvi and Talent channel. This is Stella Bella. A few weeks ago, I reviewed an awesome RF skin tightening facial device called the Tripolar Stop VX. I'm still using it, still loving it. When I bought that product at the same time, there was a 50% off special on another product and I just had to get it. And today I'm going to be reviewing that product and it is the Tripolar Stop Eye in Black. And as you can see here, this is what it looks like. It looks like a smaller version of the Tripolar that I reviewed earlier, which was for the entire face. This one is just for the delicate areas around the eyes, as well as the more sensitive areas like the smile lines and the lips. So I'm going to show you how it works and doing a bit of a review on the product today. So this is what it comes in, how it looks in the box. And when you take out the device, it is actually very light, but it doesn't feel flimsy at all. It feels actually quite sturdy. And just like a smaller version of the Tripolar Stop VX that I had, that I reviewed a few weeks ago. Now the other product was shiny, this one is matte. It is a very sophisticated sort of matte black and I really like it. It's got a really classy look to it and rose gold on the bottom. Underneath that, let's see what is there. We have got a little manual, a quick guide to teach us how to use it, as well as a thicker user manual. And underneath all of that is the preparation balm that you're going to need to put around the eyes before you use it, as well as a charging cable, which is a USB to USB-C type. So it basically plugs into any of our normal devices that we have now. USB-C will plug into this to charge, and the USB 2, the normal one, will just plug into any charging device or any portable battery that you'll have. Once you charge it up, you can actually just use it without the cords, which is super convenient and handy because it is annoying to have to sit by a power source, especially if your cables aren't long enough or you just get everything all tangled up. So this is very convenient and you can just charge it up and take it with you to another location to use if you want. So let's test it out. So you have to apply this before you start your treatment to ensure you get the most out of it and so that you don't burn your skin because it is a heat device um, and for those who don't know, very similar to the Tripolar Stop VX, it uses radio frequency and heat to get into the dermis layer of your skin, so not the upper layer, but the dermis layer of your skin to help boost and regenerate collagen, help with those fine lines and wrinkles, and to basically slow down the aging process. And this particular one is for the delicate eye areas. And because the device is smaller as well, it targets those areas a little bit better. I'm excited to try this because Apparently it helps with eye bags and because I've had really bad allergies my entire life, which really affects the sinus area here. Eye bags have always been a huge problem of mine, even from when I was in high school. And my hay fever friends will know what I'm talking about. When you get all blocked up and then suddenly your eyes get all puffy and it just seems like a daily fight between you and those sort of bee stung eyes. So I'm hoping this will help. So first of all, we want to get the preparation balm. And this one doesn't smell like the same preparation gel that um, that you're told to use for the Tripolar Stop VX, actually. This is a different, this doesn't smell like anything. So we apply it in the areas where we're going to use a device. So it will be here around the eyes. We want to go. To be honest, I used with the other one anyway, with the um, Tripolar Stop VX. Now with the Tripolar Stop VX, you're not supposed to use it in these sort of delicate areas, especially around the sort of eye socket area or anywhere that's sort of above your eyeball area. Like if you close your eyes, you wouldn't want to do it over the eyelid. And we'll also be working these areas too, but I'll apply the balm later. It's not really much of a balm. It's, it's funny, the um, preparation gel that we use for the Tripolar Stop VX, it's called a gel, but the consistency is more like a balm. Whereas this is called a balm, but the consistency is more like a gel. So now we take the device, take the lid off, and you'll see it's got these little four heat conductor nodules, same as the Tripolar Stop VX, but it's just closer packed together. So it targets those areas a little bit more because these areas are a little bit smaller. So let's have a go, let's turn it on. So the on button here, press that once, and it'll light up green. All right, let's go for it. So they recommend that you go over the area slowly, each area for about four minutes. And I can feel it heating up at the moment. This gel seems to be drying up quicker. So I'm gonna put a little bit more gel or balm on because 
unlike the Tripolar Stop VX preparation gel, this feels like it dries out a little quicker. So it doesn't glide on as smoothly. Whereas the preparation gel for the Stop VX, that one doesn't dry out at all. It just remains sticky. So this one isn't sticky. Like I said, this is more like a gel than the other one is. So we go around the areas for about four minutes and slowly and we want to pay attention to the trouble area. So if you have trouble with sort of crow's feet, you want to go over those a little slower. Or if you find that your um, eyebrow is starting to droop a bit, you want to go over these areas a little slower as well. Allow it to work a little longer. Me, I want to concentrate on these areas. And I can feel it heating up and it's definitely not as strong as the Stop VX which makes sense because this is around a delicate area. I'm going to keep going at this for about four minutes and then I'll swap over to the other eye. And the key is to just add like a little more of the balm to make it glide over and not dry out so quickly as well. It is a bit red as you can see on the other eye where I've worked it. It is a bit red because it is heat, but it will fade. Once you stop, it'll probably be about 15 minutes, half an hour for it to fade. You just need to make sure that when you are using the device, you don't stop it in a certain area. You just keep going. It needs to keep moving. Otherwise you will feel it's a little bit too hot for your skin. Let it calm down first before you sort of react to how bad it looks because it is just because you put heat over it and you've just gone over and over the same spot again. And that's the reason why it's just a little bit irritated. But do remember that it is working on a dermis level. So it's trying to regenerate collagen, which is a process that takes time, which is why they recommend that you use these sort of devices for six to eight weeks to see permanent results. But there should be some immediate effects after the first couple of uses anyway. You'll be able to see that your eyes are a little bit brighter. The skin around it is a little bit more plump as well. And a lot of people have reported after just a couple of uses, the um, any wrinkles that they've had around the eye area, like crow's feet and things like that, um, it has visibly reduced. And then we work these areas here, the nasal labial folds, I think pronounced I hate saying the word because I always feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong but essentially the smile lines which is funny because you know the deeper the smile lines you have wouldn't that sort of indicate the happier you've been in your life but it is a problem area that a lot of people have or a lot of it's an area that a lot of people have problems with not really a problem area and people are actively trying to find ways to sort of decrease the look of them. And I guess it does um, where your smile lines are. It, when gravity hits, that's sort of the area where it sort of starts to drag down. So I get why people like to attack it while it's early, but I kind of see smile lines as a thing of a fortunate life. You know, the deeper the smile lines, the happier you would have been, right? The more you've smiled. So it's not really a bad thing, is it? <laughs> I hate to think that, you know, anyone out there is preventing themselves from smiling just so they don't have these lines. But that's what these devices are for, to help with that. So we aim to work on that area for about four minutes as well. I like to do circular motions because I feel like it gets the area a little bit better. And it should be a little bit slower, it should be more like just so the heat has time to actually get into the dermis layer. And then once you're done here, you can even sort of go across the lip a little bit just to plump up those areas. Because I think over time, these areas tend to pucker a little bit as well, I think. And this device is really good for the lip because it is small enough and gentle enough because the area around the lip and also on the lip can be a little bit sensitive and delicate. And voila, that is pretty much it. Now, once you're done, all you need to do is just clean the preparation gel off your face 
and also clean the device. And all you need to do is just get a damp cloth and wipe it down. Do not immerse it with water, don't need soap, don't need um, any sort of rubbing alcohol or anything like that, nothing abrasive. Just normal damp cloth is fine to clean it. And like I said, the treatment time for each area is about four minutes on each section. And you wanna do it about two or three times a week for a six to eight week period to see long-term results. And after that, you just need to do a maintenance of maybe two to four times a month. Already, I can feel like a little bit more awake. Um, obviously, I can't really see the results just yet because I have just finished the treatment, but I know that same as the Tripolar Stop VX device, normally you notice the results over the next couple of days, but you do have an immediate sort of plump and glow about your skin, which I can kind of see from under my eyes now. As I was doing it, because it was red, it looked a little bit darker, but as the red subsides, it almost feels like the skin or the flesh underneath is plumping itself back up and it actually feels really good. So I'm excited to see how this pans out over the next six to eight weeks. I'm gonna use it in conjunction with the Stop VX device. So I'm gonna use the VX on my face and I'm gonna use this around the eye area and see how it goes. But as a regular facial device, it feels amazing on your skin and it's nice to just treat yourself to that little bit of extra relaxation time every couple of days. And because it is cordless, super convenient as well. So do check it out for yourselves because I highly recommend this for anyone who is worried about um, sort of the aging effects on the delicate eye areas and the delicate areas around the mouth. Thanks for listening today, guys. I hope this review has helped you. And if you've got any comments or if you've tried the product for yourself, please let us know. Make sure to hit like, subscribe and follow on our channel and send us through any questions or comments down below. And please make sure you follow me on social media as well. My Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok is stellabella.au and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.